We were one of the first craft distilleries to open in Kentucky. Mary Beth, Tomaszewski, and myself, we founded the business in 2009, and we source all of our grains locally from the general region here, from the farmers. Localized production creates a unique flavor, creates a unique kind of difference. Kentucky became a state in 1792. Just three years later, in 1795, Jacob Beam started selling his corn whiskey recipe, which would eventually grow into Jim Beam, the world's number one selling bourbon. Today, bourbon is a $9 billion economic driver for the state of Kentucky, generating approximately 23,000 direct and indirect jobs. There is an incredible point of pride working in the bourbon industry in Kentucky. My husband and I decided to open a distillery after visiting Maker's Mark years ago. My husband's background, his fourth great-grandfather founded Bardstown, Kentucky, so he was the founder of the bourbon capital of the world, so we had to make bourbon. I mean, you know, we're the Bards of Bardstown. Starting a new business here in Kentucky, uh, we have been supported since the very beginning. If something happened to our still, someone would call us that day or the next day and say, how can we help you? We'll make your bourbon for you. Everybody wants everybody to do better. So if you have a question, you can reach out, you can get some help. When you come in the driveway at Casey Jones Distillery, the first thing you'll see on the right is our big new barrel rickhouse. We reached out to the Southwest Kentucky Economic Development Council, and they then gave us information to get in touch with the Kentucky Cabinet of Economic Development. Those two entities were extremely helpful in helping us put together a business plan and getting a little bit of grant money. We've been very involved with our local Convention and Visitors Bureau as well as our Chamber of Commerce. Uh, we've also been involved with the local government because we've had to change some laws so that we can operate our business on Sunday. About a decade ago, we couldn't even serve a cocktail by the glass or offer a tasting at one of our facilities. But thanks to the changes made by the legislature and by the governor over the course of the last 10 years, that has begun to change and Kentucky's economy and our business are better for it. We're all in this together and we're really proud of that.